if you're not making money in your business, it's very possible that you have the right product but the wrong promotion. Let me say that again. It's possible that you might have the right product but the wrong promotion. Look, we've all heard of that product called Febreze, right? Well, I've been reading this book lately all about habits and it talks about Febreze and how in the very beginning, the marketing for Febreze was completely different. It was about covering up odor for pets and different cigarettes, these types of things. The problem with that is that most people did not want to identify with a pet odor problem. Most people did not want to identify with a cigarette smoke problem. And as a result, it was completely the right product, but the wrong promotion. And so what they did is they set up these cameras and they basically gave out test bottles across homes in certain states and what they did is they filmed people using Febreze. And what they began to realize is that many times it was housewives or house dads. And what they would do is upon completion of a task, what they would do is after they made the bed or after they cleaned the room, they would spray Febreze. And what it did is it represented the completion of a task. So what did they do? All the marketing people at Procter & Gamble, they suddenly had light bulbs pop in their brains and they said, look, the promotion is completely wrong. The product is great, but the promotion is wrong. So what they did is they changed all their marketing and they began to show commercials where it was the completion of the task and then people began to spray and smile and it talked about how completing the task was not fully done until Febreze was sprayed and the reality is is that it became a one billion dollar industry relatively quickly now listen how do we make this applicable for your life my life your business my business you need to ask yourself look you might have the brilliant perfect coaching program or design product or anything that you might have created could be the exact thing that people need and you know they need it they don't know that they need it yet. Your job is to market it in a way that connects with them emotionally. You have to do that. And so you, sometimes it's changing the messaging. Recently, I was chatting with a gentleman and he was saying, no one's signing up for his webinar. And I said, show me your webinar page. And he showed me the sign up and it was like, webinar, email, <laughs> name, that's it. And as a result, no one was signing up because his promotion was not correct. He has the best content in the world. I'm sure people would love his course. I'm sure it would save marriages all across the country, but it was not the right promotion. So what we did is we helped him tweak that promotion in a way that connects with people. And as a result, of course, his registrations are now going up. This is Carrie Oberbrunner. Be a soul on fire today. Look, people need your product. People need your message. People need what you have to offer. But if you're not doing it in a way that connects with them, there's going to be an issue. There's going to be a problem. Don't change your product. Change your promotion. Share this with someone who needs it today. Better yet, apply it in your own context. We'll see you.